Okay, so this is part two of the uh, low polygon boombox uh, modeling and shading. And for this part, it's just to uh, kind of dress it up, put a background, put a, a cyclorama back, uh, background or a psych to, uh, to make it look like there's no cut in the background that goes to infinity. Put some simple area lights and then show you guys how to uh, render an image um, using the camera output and then saving a file as a JPEG or a PNG. All right, so let's start here. Uh, first, uh, I want to switch to view area and then toggle quad view, okay? That gives me four screens right here, then we're seeing the camera right here. And over here, I'm going to um, turn on my screencast, make sure that you see uh, all the commands that I'm using right here. All right, so. Hopefully that gets activated there. Let's see. There we go. It's now active. Okay, so first uh, let's take a look at the camera. I'm going to select the camera right here. So I can show you here at the top viewport. That's where it's at. Kind of far. Okay. So when you select the camera, uh, you have an option here in the property now to go to its property. So you see that green camera icon. Okay. So um, it's a perspective camera. So it's a boom box. So let's kind of increase the uh the focal length right here i'm going to go to let's say 100 millimeter right okay uh let's put it back to 50 sorry we need to be looking at it so you guys see what i'm actually changing okay so to switch to the camera viewport hover your mouse in the perspective and press zero on the numpad okay there it is okay it's quite far and we're going to do um let's switch to 100 millimeter right here so to lessen the uh um, distortion okay and we're going to control the camera so you can actually grab the camera here press g and then you can you know you can rotate move it you know or you can actually use it as if you are manipulating the uh, screen okay so press n for sidebar and make sure you go to the view tab right here and by default it's unchecked so make sure this one is checked okay if this is unchecked, the moment you rotate the camera, you go out of the camera. You see it? You're in the working camera instead of the recording camera. But if you click that, you lock the camera to view. When you press zero to look what the camera is looking at, now we can actually see what the camera is seeing. Okay? So we can just go like this for now, kind of show our object right there. Okay? Give it a little angle so we can see a little bit at the top. Nothing special. All right. So there it is. And then if we render now, we go to render, render image, just so that we could see what it'll look like. That's it. There's no lighting. Actually, there's lighting. It's, um, uh, I deleted the lights right here. Uh, there's lighting based on the uh, world color right here, which is gray. So if I move that to black, okay, and then we go to rendered basically exactly what we'll see if we render this it's that's what we're going to see okay it's actually black because there's no lights there okay all right so let's put this back so at least we can work on rendered view and we could see something and then we could start adding lights okay so um uh first we're going to add our um our background before we add the lights okay so this will be a very simple uh, process okay and we're going to use a plane for this, okay? So I'm going to go Shift A right here on the top, mesh, and then plane. All right. What will happen then is I guess I might have moved my boombox right here. So let me center this first, okay? GX, center it to the world. And then the plane, we need it bigger. So from the top viewport right here, I'm just going to go S and kind of scale that. It's kind of big and here in the uh, front I'm gonna grab that one and then kind of move it down so that our very important that our um, boom box is not kind of colliding with it and it's not floating so just kind of eyeball that and then zoom in if you need to to make sure that we're actually on top of the plane okay I'm gonna press zero here uh, um, position reposition my camera sorry Right there. So that's the front. Okay, let's go to um, shade, uh, so, uh, solid view here. So that's the front. 
that's the top this is the side so I'm gonna go to edit mode press tab I'm gonna press number two to select the edge I'm gonna select the back edge since this is the top that's the back so I'm selecting that one right there okay and then here at the edge I'm inside right here I'm gonna press extrude okay so now this will just freely go but we don't want it to go anywhere so I'm just gonna right click cancel that okay I'm gonna turn on my tool right here move tool so you can see I'm grabbing the z-axis so it's going up okay I'm also gonna go here press 0 so you could see the working camera here what's happening all right now what I want is to select this cut right here the reason why we're doing this is called a psych or a cyclorama it will have this really uh, it's kind of like a skateboarder rink okay it will have this beveled corner right here what that will do is when you're recording on a camera you don't see the end of the world so it looks like your background just goes on and on forever here if we have that cut based on the shadow you really know this is a floor and that's a wall okay so here's what we're gonna do kinda like from the previous lesson I'm gonna right click this and then bevel the edge and drag it probably that much right there okay and here if your bevel is not showing make sure it goes on like that and then put a generous amount of segments here because it's just a background that's 10 right there okay and then uh, what we'll do is I'm gonna go to object mode by hitting tab and then right click this and shade smooth there you go so now we have this really nice background okay so uh, I it's too small though kind of like in studio right so I mean for us we can kind of expand this and whatnot so we're just gonna scale this I'm gonna go to the scale tool keyboard shortcut you can do S and then X I'm just gonna grab this just so that there's no way when we press 0 we're gonna see kind of like the end of the world the camera over there that's all okay so I'm gonna go like this since we're using like a hundred millimeter we're not gonna see any uh, distortion okay so now let's go to a uh, preview mode here let's just kind of see what we can do with that background I'm gonna go to my select box tool make sure the floor is selected so I'm gonna rename that double click it plane to uh, let's just call it the floor or the psych okay cube here let's rename it to boom box all right I'm gonna go to floor let's go uh, to shading right here this is the same uh, by the way it looks like this is reality okay this is just on preview mode it looks like you have lights in there so I'm gonna select the floor go to shading click new all right we don't want this shiny at all so we're just gonna make kind of like a felt paper or a cardstock paper is what we want so roughness I'm gonna go all the way close to one all right, and then we're going to give it a color on base colors. Click this, and we're going to give it a, like a light blue color right there. All right, or like a teal color, kind of like a pastel-y color. All right, so that uh, is our background. See, as you can see here, if we have even lighting, it looks like you don't see the cut. You don't see the psych right here. It just looks like it just goes on and on, okay? So uh, let's start adding lights, okay? I'm going to go to rendered mode because this is reality right here. All right, so... First, we're going to go to solid mode, sorry, so you could see it, or in wireframe mode, okay? So I'm going to add a light. I'm going to go Shift A, or you can also go Add Light. The one we want is an area light. An area light is like those photography soft uh, soft boxes that produces soft shadow, okay? Kind of like uh, an LED fluorescent uh, uh, effect, except you don't get that really gunky green on the fluorescent. Okay, so there it is. We have one light. I'm going to turn on rendered. Okay, we're not seeing it because it's uh, it's too small and too power. Uh, there's not enough power in there. Okay, so I have it selected. If we go here now, remember where the green icon for the camera. Okay, if you have a light selected, it will change to this icon in the property to a, this light bulb. Uh, first thing is that we're going to give it some power. So 10 watts. We're going to get 1500 watts. Okay, and as you can see, it's kind of like it's on the floor so it's uh you know you can see that it's um, glowing already okay so what i'll do here is move it so i'm gonna go to move tool move this up there you go so we now we start seeing it so i'm gonna move it up probably that height right there and if we go here and then just kind of change this to uh, uh wireframe mode 
and I scale that. So I'm going to press S to scale the light. Okay. Oh, let's see it rendered. I'm going to scale it here. All right. So now uh, it's distributing the light. It's still the same power, but the shadow now it's much more spread because it's a it's a much bigger light source. Okay. Even though it's the same power. So if we want more light, of course, you can add more power to it, but we can also add other lights. Okay, so let's put one here where we're getting a light from coming from this side. So we don't have to get one from scratch. We can just um, we can just rename this to area light. So we know that's a light. Zero one. Okay, so it's an appending number system right here. Okay, so if I shift D, shift D is to duplicate. Okay, so if you go to object. And then you go to duplicate object. There it is. Duplicate object. Shift and D. Okay. Shift D. So there's an extra one right there. So you can see it got a lot brighter. Okay. Uh, okay. So did not append the number. So I thought it was going to do zero two. Anyway, so we're just going to rename that to zero two. So we see it right there. So in the front right here, I will rotate this. I'm going to press R. I'm going to hold down control so I can kind of snap it at some kind of angle. Okay, so I'm going to go, let's say, like that, flat on it. It's like a window light. I'm going to go over here, okay? Okay, right there, kind of away from, um, and then point it to the boom box a little bit like so, and just kind of position it right there. Okay, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger because I don't want any shadow in there. I'm going to expand it a little bit like so. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go 2,000 on a watch. And then uh, what else can we do here? Okay, lift up like that for now. Okay, just so that if I press zero right here, you see that light, it's kind of like coming from that one. Because we're just kind of want to even this out. So we're going to need more lights here. We're going to need one up front to kind of flatten that background right there. So same thing, shift D and rotate this light so this is our third light now so i'm just going to point it like so let's see what the camera looks like okay i'm going to call this one zero three all right so what i'll do this is the side viewport so what i'll do is kind of rotate that where it's up front you can kind of move it in a little bit like so all right i need to work on this light right here so it's not causing there we go. So I'm going to move it a little bit right there because I don't want it kind of casting shadow on that one. And I'm going to move that a little bit over here. Okay. So maybe, you know, those three lights. So we got our kind of like our rim light in a way. Uh, I mean, rim light. I mean, key light. And then we have a side light right here. Okay. And let's take a look. So let's do a render. All right. This has a lot of kind of glow, so we might need to tone down the reflection of the metal. Okay, I'm going to select that. Gray metal, not the white plastic. Let's tone down that a bit. Okay. And then we'll make it maybe a little darker. All right, so let's do another render, render image. All right, that's good enough. All right. So um, our setup right here is first you need to create this background, this cyclorama background. Okay, and then we're using some area lights. Okay, there's one right there. There's another one right here. Okay, pointing at the front, aiming down, and then there's one from the side, kind of at an angle. Okay, and what we're trying to do is not have that cut right there or any lighting uh, difference right here. Okay, so. Uh, we need to export this now. By the way, from here on, uh, not unless specified, all your homework and submission, uh, whether we're modeling, let's say, an apple or whatnot, it is expected, okay, that you provide kind of like the same background style and lighting just to kind of light the product. So you're not submitting just the object anymore on any, like if I don't mention it, that means I want the background and some light for it, okay, for all your homework. All right, so now let's uh, uh, let's do an output here. There's kind of two ways to do this, right? There's a long way and a short way, but let's do the long way so that you know how to export. 
a single image or an animation. Okay, so the camera will all it will always um, render the default camera. If you have multiple camera, you have to force it to say this is the recording camera, so on and so forth. Okay. So in the property window, we go to the top one right here. There's a render engine. Okay, we're using EV. EV is real time. Um, it's um, fast, super fast. Okay, but it's not very realistic. So if we switch this to cycles, this is the one that's kind of realistic. It has global illumination. It bounces light. EV does not. So that's why we have to use trickery in the lighting. Okay. There's a plugin that can do that in EV. I think I haven't tried it, but uh, let's assume now that EV doesn't do that. So that's why we have to do the extra lighting. Before you export, you have to go here, make sure it's on EV, put a check mark on ambient occlusion, screen space reflection, and then bloom. Uh, bloom gives it that kind of bloom. Uh, it's not too much here. So just leave that on. If it's too much, just turn it off. Okay. Because you can go to the setting and then you can change the intensity depending on the angle of the light okay so if i were to uh, press zero here just to kind of show you uh, you might get uh, a lot of bloom depending on the angle but it looks like this one is fine okay so make sure ambient occlusion is on bloom if uh, not overwhelming and then screen space reflection these things needs to be checked before you render then you go to the tab below it the output tab okay the default uh, resolution for this is 1920 by 1080. We want kind of like a square um, aspect uh, render out of this one. So I'm going to change that to, let's say, um, I mean, it's for first homework, so it shouldn't be, we're not going to require, we're not going to print it. So 1080 by 1080. Um, all right, so it gives you the square aspect ratio. So if you zoom, um, I'm going to, unclick camera to view okay just so that you could see the outside there i'm going to click it again now i'm locking in so whatever's inside there gets uh rendered so there it is okay so we're now exporting a square aspect so let's say you didn't do any of this um output right here you can also just click render render image and when it pops up of course you have to do all your uh, dimensions first you can just go here on image save a copy okay and then it will ask you what type of file there you go jpeg okay where do you want to save it okay i'm just going to call it boombox i'm going to put one word in there so it doesn't overwrite the other one okay and then save as image all right and then we have that okay so now pretty sure this is going to show up on Okay, right there, boom box. There's the render. And you go to uh, MS Teams with your uh, file, which is this one. All right. And uh, there'll be an assignment section, and then you upload this basically. All right. So that will be our first uh, Blender homework.